Hello everybody. So now today we will discuss about the permanent magnet synchronous machine construction, working principle and its control scheme. To continue our presentation. So this is the content. We will study in a previous lecture the construction and its types of rotor then the distributed binding and concentrating binding so this is the stator with the distributed binding uh, you see you can see the diagram and the electrical motor stator with the concentrated binding distributed call such a binding in which the number of slot per pole per phase q is equal to 2 3 and so on k concentrated calls such as a binding in which the number of slot per pole per phase q is equal to 1 in this case the slot are evenly spaced around the circumference of the stator the two coils forming the binding can be concentrated both in a series as well as the parallel the main disadvantage of such binding in the impossibility of influencing on the form of EMF curve. The three phase distributed binding circuit you can see in the figure and the three phase concentrated binding you can also see the figure. The form of back EMF of electrical motor can be trapezoidal as well as the sinusoidal. The form of the EMF curve in the conductor is determined by the distributed curve of the magnetic induction and the gap around the stator circumference. It is known that the magnetic inductance in the gap under the salient pole of the stator has a trapezoidal shape. The EMF induced in the conductor has the same form. If it is necessary to create a sinusoidal EMF, then the pole steps are given such a shape that, uh, that the induction distribution curve would be close to sinusoidal. Now we will move to the next point, the working principle of the permanent magnet synchronous machine. So the working principle of this machine is similar to the working principle of a synchronous machine. So synchronous machine working principle, it is a combination of a rotating magnetic field to the static magnetic field. So similarly, the principle of operation of synchronous motor is based on the interactions of the rotating magnetic field of the stator and the constant magnetic field of the rotor because the rotor we can use the permanent magnet so permanent magnet create a static magnetic field and the stator consists of three phase armature winding we will give the three phase supply to the stator so create a rotating magnetic flux so we can say that it is the combinations of rotating magnetic flux plus stationary magnetic flux the concept of the rotating magnetic flux of the stator of a synchronous motor is the same that of the three phase induction motor so this is the main headings of working principle main points the principle of the operation of a synchronous motor is based on the interaction of the rotating magnetic field of the stator and the constant magnetic field of the root this is the rotating magnetic field in a stator so in a figure, the magnetic field of the rotor interacting with a synchronous alternating current of the stator winding according to the ampere law create torque and forcing the rotor to rotate. Permanent magnet located on the rotor of the permanent magnet's synchronous machine create a constant magnetic field. At a synchronous speed of the rotation of the rotor with the stator field, the rotor poles interlock with the rotating magnetic field of the stator. This is called the synchronization condition. Permanent magnet synchronous machine cannot start itself, means it is not a self-starting machine, when it is connected directly to the three-phase current network. Now, in the next lecture, we will move the permanent magnet synchronous motor con control scheme. So thank you for watching the video.